before we go to lunch, we actually have time for a really lovely moment, um, another fellowship that we're going to be handing out. Um, so the Radio Academy bestows its highest honour to individuals who have gone above and beyond in their part of the audio and radio industry. And today's individuals will be presented with a Radio Academy fellowship throughout the day. Now, to tell us who our lucky second recipient is, is a uh, radio legend and a mate of mine. Make some noise for Ray Paul. Hi, I'm Ray from the Playmaker Group. Um, one of the highlights of working with teams, especially younger ones, is being able to witness a spark turn into a fully fledged flame. That feeling of potential being fulfilled, where creativity means, meets team building and honing skills of others, with an ever nurturing nature, and invariably always seeming to have loads of time for everyone. The recipient of this award has shown this abundance and has gone on to prove their worth as one of the key creative minds in the audio industry. I first came across them in around 2008. I saw them around Yordin House, always quiet, always polite, always looking like they wanted to just burst out of their shell. Soon after, I went to work at Radio 1, and I was in a position to work alongside them. Managed to see at close quarters how their mind works. Very meticulous, super honest, and very, very creative. When the opportunity came for them to take on greater responsibility, it was grabbed with both hands. And the feedback was not only glowing, but consistent. How brilliant they were, how creative they were, and what a joy they were to be around. 15 years on, the feedback still remains the same. Whenever I walk around an MBH, I still hear the same things being said about them. As a professional, they lead the charge on one of the most challenging day part shows on their network, while remaining as cool and calm as ever. They are producer, the chair of a multi-story orchestra, an educational consultant, and the founder of the Crosspoint Cons Con Consultancy, which gives career and development coaching for 18 to 30 year olds. Her award shelf is already stocked with ARIA's Urban Music Awards and Asian Media Awards in her 20 plus career to date. She's a total radio legend and a very much a content geek. Long may it continue. I'm incredibly proud of her as a professional and even prouder to, to be able to call her a true friend. Radio Academy, I'm honoured to announce that the latest recipient of the first fellowship is, is awarded to none other than Adele Cross. So I'm a producer, so I'm not used to this. <laughs> also, um, I've been up since 4 a.m., so I'm glad I changed my shirt because uh, I don't smell like I did before. Thank you so much. I am literally shaking. I need a script. First of all, Ray is my mentor from years ago, so he's the one that's... This is Ray. This is why I started the whole thing. Um, I never thought I was good enough to be anything at all because I never fit in any mould. And then I was working with Ray, and there was an opportunity to be a producer. And he said, have you seen the advert? I said, yeah, you can go for it. I went, nah. He went, <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did, and that's what I needed to know. I had enough to at least make an effort and try. Um, if my voice is shaking, it's because I'm not used to this, so <laughs> forgive me. But there you go. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Um, so I'll get to the chase. Thank you again. I'm literally just a producer. I am confused as to why I'm here, but I'm very, very grateful. I do know as well that there's a burgeoning young set of people coming up behind us. It's beautiful, it's amazing. I've had the honour of working with Ray Paul, Naji J, Ari Award winning, uh, Trevor Nelson, Vernon for a little bit, Greg James, Clara Ampho, on Radio 4 I started. And I remember getting a call from my agency. I was a secretary. I didn't even study media. Can you imagine the, the fallacy that I am? I'm fake. <laughs> I studied French to talent at university, and then I needed some money, so I became a PA, and I ended up at Radio 4 as a PA for Gwyn Williams, who was the editor. It's meant to be a week, it became two weeks, six weeks, a year, 20 plus years, and I am 
astounded to be here. Thank you so much. I'm glad I didn't swear. Thank you.